Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When these two coaches looked at their schedule in the early part of the season, they knew there was a great chance that this game would decide the division. They built their teams up and gotten them ready for this moment. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Stadium in Clemson, and the home team is gathered around Howard's Rock, one of the most iconic traditions in all of college football. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks Bowers from the six gets to about the 27 yard line seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time today they take the field for the last time the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Carries the ball for a nice game. Gilmore comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32. Has some daylight. Up the middle for a nice game. Stratton's into running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but... He doesn't want to think about that ten. right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47 yard line. That makes, that makes it second, it second and, two. and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nice run there. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision-making. He sees first an opening, down. decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. Down he goes at the 46. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 46. He's on the run. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. The 10, and he's level at the 10. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And this play is number eight on the drive. run and he's brought down 
That'll be a first down there on the four-yard pickup from the back. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's taken down at the four-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 71-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7-0. Taken from the three-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He goes out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. Thomas is the intended receiver on the play. Third down. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Rose and it's knocked away. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. Bowers fields it at the 40. He makes it out to midfield. Louisville's coaching staff, Kirk, I thought did a nice job getting them ready to play in this play. Yeah, you and I have seen this sometimes when we travel. It's, it's where you see the crowd noise uh, throughout the practice week and how much that prepares them. I think the fact they did that to get ready has allowed them to go out there and execute and not be intimidated at all by this crowd. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Louisville up seven points. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So the halfback picks up the first down there with a seven-yard gain. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. Fires that quickly incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Back screen, incomplete. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Brought down at the 35. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. McNair is the punter. 
This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. It's second and 12. Ball on the 18. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Cardinals lead 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Some room. He's out to the 30. He gets to about the 34 yard line. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. They'll bring him down right around the 42 yard line. at midfield and he's tackled at about the 43 yard line fires incomplete he was looking for the tight end he looked like he just sort of aimed that one yeah he didn't look very natural throwing the football there and the result was an underthrow second down ten to go Ball on the 43. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 40. That makes it 37. Hand off and he won't make it. That brings us fourth and eleven. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Louisville is up by a touchdown. Caught with room to work. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 44. That'll bring up third and inches. Back 
tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Louisville is up a score. Tackle right around the 20. That's a game of 16 on the way. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Nine. 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 Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 12. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 10-yard line. Williams is the tackle at the 10-yard line. That'll make it third and one. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets it out quickly, and they make the stop around the 9-yard line. Louisville's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He gets out to about the six-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. That makes his third and goal. Check Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Clark makes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 33. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Drill at the 38-yard line. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Second down and five. Ball on their own 38. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Herbie went to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We still don't know the severity, but the bad news is he hasn't reappeared. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Makes 
a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Going long. The throw caught. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. We played a half. Louisville leads it 14-7. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 half time show presented by Nissan innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap two step squeeze bring your feet arrive with bad intentions uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys David but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Lambert on the give. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. They'll go with the run once again. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Field. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Set. Blue 19. Complete, but out of bounds. Going to lose some ground. Third down. Watch 
Got a man. Watch out here. He goes out of bounds around the 43 yard line. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Louisville is up seven. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. a complete to the halfback over the middle he tackles him for a loss Field. Incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver be smart to come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Brown awaiting the return. bring him down at the 45. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it second and eight. the kicker to try to tie this game up and he hits the PAT Reese Davis is standing by with this update Reese Boomer Sooners ready to go in Norman and for Kansas State they'll hit you in the mouth and make you like it and they pound one in for the score the Wildcats are on top 7-0 all right Reese back to our game Coleman gets set to kick this one away. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. for a loss. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Got it. And he goes.
goes down quickly. McNair awaits the snap. Brown fields it the 31, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. the 40. Two yards there on the option keeper. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. They'll get him for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Three down, three down. Mike two, Mike two. Set, 10-19. 10-19. Right. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. So with one quarter remaining, 14 apiece. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's under some heat. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. out to about the 25-yard line. Tackle made at the 22. That'll bring up fourth and one. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he tackles him hard at the 18. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. Mike two, Mike two. Set, Fires that quickly, incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Running back's open, and oh, it's dropped. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and it is good. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to check out what's going on in Norman. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, we've got a little drama starting to unfold right now. A potential major upset in the making. The Wildcats have the lead, 17-0. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up.
Looks like they're ready for the kick. From the seven. And he's hammered down. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Brad, this is a big drive in this game with the offense getting the football late in this game, thinking about a tie, maybe taking the lead. Interesting to see the mindset of this defense. Are they going to be aggressive? or they're going to have more of a bend but don't break mentality, looking not to give up this go-ahead touchdown. Dives, and he's down. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run there. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. From the 48-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle at the 37. That's a deal of play. First down. Steps up. And he can't get away from the pressure. He's in trouble. Quick throw. Finds his receiver who's all alone. And he's taken down at the eight. That makes it first and goal. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Here's the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the eight-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. A little over a minute in the game. Here's a run. And they make the stop around the seven-yard line. Louisville's going to take their first time out of the half. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Kicks up. And the field goal is good. Stratton's play there really what gave his kicker a chance. Well, this is outstanding effort by this quarterback to be able to move his team in the range. He knew exactly where he needed to go to give his kicker a shot in making that field goal. Louisville is ready to kick it away. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 35. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 43. That makes it second and two.
48 yard line. So they'll get the first down there on the five yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. He's going to air it long. Doesn't get there. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Gets to about the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 14-yard line. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That brings him second and goal. From the one yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Tigers. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a trip to Norman. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Wildcats continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. The Wildcats are out front, 24-10. In another game, let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. And for Nebraska, a win today would give them nine on the season. And for Williams, he's got a rushing touchdown in this one. Nebraska on top, 14-10, early in the second quarter. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. From the 25-yard line, first down. Throws it out right to the running back. And he's level at the 20-yard line. Reed with the tackle at the 20-yard line. That brings him second and one. Our time. It's our time. Mike 12. Mike 12. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. About four yards away here on third down. That's a great tackle at the 11-yard line. On the tackle at the 11-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 10. It's second and eight. Ten yards to the end zone. He 
fights forward to about the seven. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. Passes to the back, incomplete. here today. Clemson 24, Louisville 17. And the Louisville Cardinals. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.